hello guys and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'll be talking about how to fix heating issues on your laptop so specifically today i've got a acer predator helios 300 which have got a very crazy heating issue in spite of two aeroblade fans so there are two aeroblade fans which runs at about 6222 rpm and in spite of that this thing heats up a lot so for your kind information let me tell you i have applied thermal paste about three weeks back if i'm not wrong and in spite of that i'm you know facing a very bad heating issue so right now the only thing which is running is bandicam which is about 20 mb okay so just let me just open predator sense let me show you the temperature right now so as you can see the temperature is going up to 81 wait okay so that uh, cpu utilization is 20 percent and the temperature is going all the way up to 86 85 degree that is just too much you know okay so i'm ju just gonna click on max so that the fans run at its maximum speed so as you can see now the fans are running at 6122 rpm okay so as you can see the temperature is going down by 79 82 okay so whatever it is so i'm just gonna close this i'm just going to open um so I'm gonna open Call of Duty World War 2. Oh. Let me just skip all this. So as you can see it is not even 5 minutes since I have opened this game and the temperature is already touching 96 degrees celsius and the GPU is going up to 74. Now if I play this game for about 5 minutes max to max the temperature is going to reach 90 degrees yes and you know that's too much ok so I am just gonna close this right now let me just open C. so the maximum cp has gone 97 and gps touched 75 degree right now this is running at stock settings i haven't changed anything right now so today i'll be reapplying my thermal paste and then i'm going to undervolt my cpu as well as gpu but for the complete tutorial of cpu and gpu how to undervolt it So finally we are done with the installation and as you can see the temperature right now has gone down drastically so as you can see the temperature was 45 46 47 and just when I started recording the utilization 
increased and right now the temperature is 58 and the best thing is fans it's running at 2500 rpm and early it was running close to about 3000 if i'm not wrong so right now i'm going to play the same game which i played earlier and let's see and this time what we are going to do is we are going to use throttle stop to undervolt my cpu so guys i already have the settings done on my throttle stop so i'm just going to open it i've enabled the turbo it's running at 3.4 gigs i'm going to set this as max that's what i did earlier As you can see the temperature of the CPU is 70 degrees and by this time earlier it was way much more higher and as you can see the best part is the CPU frequency it, I mean I wasn't expecting this and by the way my GPU is also under voltage so it is not even going above 60. okay so the max gpu temperature was 66 and max cpu temperature was 73 degrees cpu is under voltage of course i can't overclock it because it's an hq series and not k series k series unlocked so i can overclock it so as you can see the voltage right now is 0.9 0 0.8 fluctuating this is my cpu voltage and my gpu is also under voltage so anyways yeah uh, i hope this thing helps you i know um i'll have to make a separate video for this under volting so i'll make a separate video for that because you know i need to discuss about how to under volt it what was the maximum possible thing for me which worked so i'm going to make a separate video for that so guys just wait for some time i'm going to make a separate video for that so guys yeah that's it for this video if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video Bye bye <laughs>